Hello students, how are you all? I think everything is fine on your part. We have already discussed about the concepts of how many squares in our previous two classes. And in this class as well, we are going to learn some more concepts about the same chapter. Okay? We have already discussed two tasks. In the first task, you have to complete the shape by drawing two sides so that you will have an area of 4 square centimeter. And in the second task, you have to complete the diagram with two sides joining the given sides so that the area will be less than 2 square centimeter. I hope you have understood the concept of drawing the shapes and finding out the areas. Students, we have a third task and we are going to do it together. As you can see in the board, we have a rectangle having 20 small squares. So can you see what should be the area of this rectangle? Exactly, you got it right. It is of 20 square centimeter because it is having 20 squares of 1 square centimeter of area each. So let's draw a single line so that this rectangle can be divided into two equal triangles. How can you do this? We can do this by joining the corners, either these two corners or these two corners. Students, see, I have joined two opposite corners of the rectangle, thereby I have divided this rectangle into two equal triangles. Let me name it, okay, so you can better understand. Suppose ABCD is the rectangle, now triangle ABC is equal to triangle A. C, D because this is the line that is dividing the rectangle into two equal parts. It can be done in other way as well. How? If I join the opposite corners B and D, I will have two equal triangles B, D, C and A, B, D. Okay? So, the other task is we have to draw a straight line thereby dividing this rectangle into two equal rectangles. Okay? So, as you can see, this rectangle is having 20 squares. So, if I go to the midpoint 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and draw a straight line over here, now let the line be E. F. So now EF is dividing the rectangle ABCD into two equal rectangles A, B, E, F and F, E, C, D. So both these rectangles are having equal number of squares 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So they are having equal area. Now, the other task is we have to draw two straight lines in the rectangle and divide it into one rectangle and two equal triangles. It's too easy. You know, let's do it. We have divided this bigger rectangle ABCD into two equal rectangles. Now, we have to only do the partition in any of the rectangle leaving the other one like that only. Let us go with rectangle A, B, E, F. If I join the two corners B and F, so now as we have done it previously, A, B, C, D was the rectangle and I have joined 
the line AC to divide the rectangle into two equal parts. Same way, I have joined the opposite corners B and F so that rectangle ABEF is now divided into two equal triangles ABF and BFE. So we have a rectangle FECD and two equal triangles ABF and BFE. Got it? So let us complete the task by finding out the area of the rectangle FECD and the equal triangles ABF and BFE. Previously, we have divided the rectangle ABCD into two equal rectangles having 10 square centimeter of area. So, rectangle FECD is having area of 10 square centimeter. Again, we have divided rectangle ABEF into two equal triangles. So, each triangle will have area of 5 square centimeter because rectangle ABEF is having area of 10 square centimeter. Okay, students, let us do a puzzle. As you can see in your book, already three shapes are drawn for you. You can find out the area and perimeter by calculating the number of squares, and you can come to a conclusion that. Each shape is having area of 5 square centimeter. As we have already known that all these squares having 1 centimeter side is having area of 1 square centimeter. So, as we have 5 squares of equal shape and size, so the total area is 5 square centimeter. What about the perimeter? You go through you can find out that each shape is having 12 centimeter as its perimeter. So, let us draw another shape and find out whether its perimeter is 12 centimeter as well. Students, I have drawn a shape using the 5 given squares. We know that perimeter is nothing but the boundary. So, let us calculate the perimeter of this shape starting from here this is 1 centimeter 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 and 1 centimeter 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9, 10 centimeter. So, perimeter is equal to 10 centimeter. Except this shape, we can construct another 11 shapes using 5 squares and all other 11 shapes will have perimeter of 12 centimeter. Let us draw another shape and find out whether it is true or false. Students, I have constructed another shape using the same 5 squares. Now, let us find out the perimeter. It is nothing but the boundary 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. So, as I have told you, the perimeter comes to 12 centimeter which was previously 10 centimeter for that particular shape. So, that was the shape for which the perimeter will be 10 centimeter otherwise rest 11 shapes that we can form with these 5 squares will have perimeter of 12 centimeter and you can combine all these 12 shapes to get a rectangle of 10 into 6. That means 10 squares by length and 6 squares by breadth. So, 10 into 6 rectangle will have all these 12 shapes interconnected to each other. So, this 10 into 6 rectangle will have all these 12 shapes 
interconnected to each other. So the total area will be 10 into 6 that is 60 square centimeters. And you will be surprised to know that there are more than 1000 ways in which these shapes make a 10 into 6 rectangle. Got it? Students, you can find all the 12 shapes that you can construct using these 5 as you can see on the screen. Now you have to try and solve another puzzle that is given on your book. Okay? So students, here is a chessboard as displayed on the screen. Now play this game with your partner with one set of 12 shapes. The first player picks one shape from the set and puts it on the board covering any 5 squares. The other player picks another shape and puts it on the board but it must not overlap the first shape. Keep taking turns until one of you can't go any further. Whoever puts the last piece wins. Hooray! The next one is make your own tile. Remember, you had to choose the correct tile which could be repeated to make a pattern so that there were no gaps left. So you can see it is continued in this page also. Ziri went to a shop and was surprised to see the different designs of tiles on the floor. Aren't these beautiful? Can you find the tile which is repeated to make each of these floor patterns? Circular tile in each pattern. Students, you have to do it by yourself. I am not going to help you. You have to help yourselves to find out the desired results. Okay? After looking at the patterns, Ziri wanted to make her own yellow tile. You too make a tile this way. Let's learn how to do it. So students, as it is displayed on the screen, you find that there is a square that is yellow in color. Okay. Now, what we have to do? We have to draw a triangle on any one of the sides of this square. As it is displayed, I am also drawing a triangle at the bottom of the square. In the next step, we have to draw another triangle at another side but this time inside the square. And the next step, we have to cut this shape from the cardboard. Your tile is ready. What is its area? Let's find out. Let me cut it. So after cutting this, I have a pattern of tile with me. So what should be its area? Its area will be full square and another quarter square. So what should be its area? It's one full square and the half square or the triangle that is having the area of a half square. You just see it, area of half square. Now let us turn it and try to fix it. You can find out if I cut it like this, it fixes over here by making the square full. So the area of the square remains the same. After making the pattern of a tile, we see that the area remains the same. That is 3 square centimeter, which was the area of the square previously and now it is the area of the tile that you have made by yourself. Okay, students, now you have a task to make a pattern using your tile. Trace the shape to repeat it on a page. But remember, there must be no gaps between them. Ziri made a pattern using her yellow tiles as it is displayed on the screen. Now let's find out how many tiles does this pattern contain. You can see in a book as well, the total pattern that Ziri has made contains 12 patterns like this. And each of the patterns contains 4 tiles as we have constructed from the cardboard. So what was the area of each pattern? It was 
3 square centimeter. So, what is the area of this pattern? It has 4 tiles. So, 4 threes are 12 square centimeter. So, each pattern contains 4 square centimeter. So, how many such patterns are there in the pattern that Ziri has made? There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 such patterns in the shape that Ziri has created. So, what should be the area of that shape? That is 12 into 12, 144 square centimeter. So, the shape that Ziri has created has 144 square centimeter of area. So, total how many tiles has she used? She has used 4 into 12 that is 48 tiles. So, she has used 48 tiles and the total area of the shape is 144 square centimeter. You can do it by yourself. See, we can recheck. How we can recheck? Each tile is having area of 3 square centimeter. So, 48 into 3 again it gives us 144 square centimeter. Got it? So, students, it's practice time for you. Ziri tried to make some other tiles. She started with a square of 2 cm side and made shapes like this as you can see. Look at this carefully and find out all the tasks that is given on the screen. Hope you can do it by yourself. Okay? So students, hope you have cleared your concept about area and perimeter of different shapes. We have learned some of the concepts of our how many squares? It's your chapter number 3 of the Math Magic book. Okay? So, what is the chapter? How many squares? Isn't it? So, we have gone through many things. Isn't it? That is for this class. We will meet in another class with a new chapter. Till then, keep practicing and keep doing hard work for a better tomorrow. Okay? Keep practicing and as I always say, Keep smiling, okay? Thank you.